The only time that we could visit it would be to squeeze it in right before our flight today, Sunday morning. It is like right next to the Western Wall that we were at a couple of days ago. So the Dome of the Rock is the third most important site in Islam. We had a guard come up to us a few minutes later and just say, hey, this is a, this is a holy place. It's 8.04. The train that we were trying to catch that gets us to the airport is at 8.33. Do you know which platform? Two. Okay. Good morning. We are here in Jerusalem and we've got a pretty ambitious morning lined up. Today, we're supposed to get onto a flight <laughs> heading to Egypt, but before we do that, we uh, wanted to go and visit the Dome of the Rock and the Temple Mount here in uh, Jerusalem. <laughs> Our flight is at 11.15 and it's in a different city, in Tel Aviv. <laughs> it's quarter after six right now. Honestly, like I don't know if we're gonna make it, but like this place is so important to us that we see <laughs> that we're risking missing our flight. So, come along if you wanna see whether or not we make it. <laughs> It's always time for coffee, right? Ten minutes. Okay. Uh, that's okay then. Okay. Okay. Yes, there isn't always time for coffee. He needed ten more minutes. <laughs> we don't have ten minutes. They're opening at 7. So we've had so many conflicting reports of whether it opens at 7 or 7.30 and we decided to just show up at 7 yeah. and they're opening at 7. <laughs> this is, we just got half an hour in this insane morning so we are so <sighs> pumped. So the Dome of the Rock is like right next to the Western Wall that we were at a couple of days ago. Uh, so down below us there's lots of people praying. So we are headed to the Dome of the Rock up here. We are here on the Temple Mount. Uh, which is a kind of large area that surrounds the Dome of the Rock. Also, security here is very tight. Yeah. There are a lot of armed guards and armed policemen. That's a little security cat. <laughs> So the Dome of the Rock is the third most important site in Islam. So Dome of the Rock is really important because this is where Muslims believe the Prophet Muhammad ascended to heaven. We're not able to enter inside, you have to be a Muslim. So we would just be viewing it from the outside. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it's such a special place. We, you know, we thought it was worth risking our flight <laughs> just to see it. And wow, it's gorgeous. Worth it. The dome is just like glittering mm -hmm. in the morning sunrise here. It is just still pretty calm, pretty peaceful. We heard that this place could be super packed. It's a really difficult like site in many ways. It's a contentious site because the uh, location is also over top of the... Creation Rock. For the Jews, Dome of the Rock or the Temple Mount uh, holds the Creation Rock, which is where they believe all of creation started. Mm -hmm. I believe we read that it was the most holy site in Judaism. So overall, obviously, like a really important place. Yeah, this place was definitely worth, I think, for us to visit. visit. <laughs> That's why we're here. Okay. But so ask us if we miss our flight later, maybe we might change our minds. But doubtful. 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 We feel so bad. We were taking pictures, like just with the camera, and then we, we kissed. Like we just, just like a peck on the lips. And then immediately realized our mistake because we're here. We, we shouldn't, that shouldn't be a thing. Every country we go to, every Muslim country we go to, it, you know, just more conservative and um, public displays of affection are, are not appropriate. And, and of course, here, those customs continue. We had a guard come up to us a few minutes later and just say, hey, this is a, this is a holy place. No touching, no kissing. And he wanted to look through our photos and make sure we didn't like take any photos of us kissing in front of the mosque, which we didn't. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man, not one of our better travel moments. Our bad. It's not that we don't know about it. It's just no. that we forgot in that moment. Oh. And we, of course, like, want to follow every kind of tradition, every kind of rule uh, regarding these holy sites. And we highly, highly recommend that you do the exact same thing. Be respectful and just- uh, Don't make our mistake. Don't make our mistake, <laughs> don't exactly. Forget. 
wish we could go inside. I hear that it is absolutely stunning. Hello. Hello. How are you? Ah, are you studying? Yes. Oh, very cool. From where are you from? From Canada. Canada? Yes. And you? Uh, Palestine. Palestine. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. It's the Islamic old building. It's have all the Islam history. Mm -hmm. There is Quran. On it. The see? Quran is written? Yes, the yes. scripture, yeah. Well, it was originally built in like 673 or something? No, no, older. Older? So old. Wow. Amazing. Amazing. All right. Well, thank you. Thank okay, you. Bye, guys. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck in your school. Yeah. Bye-bye. Yeah, they're so sweet. Yeah. They're some young little school boys over there. <laughs> so they're at school and they asked them to tell us about this building. They're like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> they did a great job. <laughs> they did a good job. But it, it seemed like, I felt like they thought they, they were, were like nervous. getting tested. <laughs> they were very nervous. <laughs> I think, to be fair, the one young man was also I think, practicing his English, so yes, that English. is a whole other facet, of course. His English was really good, though. It was excellent. <laughs> it's uh, 7.30, yeah. so we are going to make a move. This place is so gorgeous, we could spend just hours walking around. Now we are looking to exit and uh, get back to our accommodation, pick up our bags so that we could rush to the train station and then take a train to oh the airport in Tel Aviv. Tel Aviv. Oh this gosh. is gonna be pretty wild, but hopefully we make it. I'm just so glad like it opened at seven, otherwise we would just be walking in a Oh right my now. goodness, like, that, was, that, that was, was a miracle, if, that was awesome. That was our saving grace today. <laughs> We've popped back into Old City and they told us that the, really the near skate is Jaffa Gate, which is on the other side. So we have to now navigate the streets of Old City, Jerusalem in order to uh, get back to basically the main road. Okay, this way. <laughs> there are lots of streets. They diverge and intersect at many different places. Bit of a maze. Like I said, I'm really glad we were there before so that we can kind of get reacquainted with the uh, tunnels or the walkways. I don't think Nico has ever walked this fast in his life. I cannot keep up. Oh my gosh. We're pretty sad, but these are, I think, our last views of Old City Jerusalem. It's 8.04. The train that we were trying to catch that gets us to the airport in time is at 8.33. Thank you. Take care. Okay. Well, we got our bags. At least we have all of our worldly possessions again. Okay, we made it to the train station with the help of a lovely local. Okay. I don't know about this. It's 5.26, the train leaves at 5.33, and it's like eight floors down, like I'm not exaggerating. <laughs> Do you know which platform? Two. Okay. Oh my god, that was not fun, but thank god we're on, on the train. It's moving now. I'm finally headed to the airport. That was exhausting. I don't know.
believe we made that train. Oh my goodness. Now just to check in. Oh my god. I'm so tired. Holy. Like, I don't think I've ever seen an airport like this. And of course, it's the one time we're not here three, three and a half, four hours early. Oh my. Wow, we did not account for this many people at the airport. This is time to wait. Technically, check-in ended, but I think they're letting us like stay because a bunch of us have been here for ages, so I don't know. <laughs> I hope we make it. I can't imagine we got this far and didn't make it from here. Morning, <laughs> 30 minutes ago. That was insane. <laughs> After a super long lineup to check in, there was a super long lineup for security, and then another long lineup for passport control. This has been wild, but oh my gosh. but we made it. It's because the flight was late getting in. Like, the we were supposed to be boarding 30 minutes ago. Our flight was supposed to originally leave in 20 minutes. They're just calling us now. That was really lucky. This whole day has been really lucky. Getting it at 7 to boarding, and then now a late yeah. flight that yeah. actually allowed us to make it here on time. Oh my god. Everything just had to be perfect this day. Oh my god. So, we're exhausted. <laughs> we're exhausted. The uh, flight's boarding. Yeah. So I guess we'll see you in Cairo. This is it for us? Yeah. Thanks for watching. Okay, so we don't know why, but everyone seems to be going the opposite direction that we are. <laughs> well, the reason that it is. Hola. Hola. Spanish. <laughs> um.